Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. As you can see, I have my super cute hair accessories in today and I love them. So yeah, anyway, let's get into this video about why I was gone for two weeks. I lost eight subscribers and I'm pretty sad about that and it might still be going down like I don't know so that's really sad but like I don't know I only missed two weeks and people unsubscribed I don't know whatever but the point is I'm going to try to get that number back up but today I am here to explain why I was gone for two weeks it was like two weeks ish I don't know exactly but so as you do not know because I haven't posted these videos yet me and my mother have a permanent campsite that we kind of like just got so I've been making like camping vlogs every time I go but I haven't edited or uploaded them yet because those ones are just more complicated to make so they just take more time so anyway we have a permanent campsite now and it's right across from my grandma's so our campers like face each other and then we have this like lot of like just all our stuff so it's like it's really fun and she lives far away my grandma does so it's nice to have a place that she stays that's closer so we can like see her more often and stuff so anyway like a week ago yeah i think it's exactly a week ago today i was there we went to a flea market it was super fun i have a haul video coming out soon so it's called ship shawana i don't know if any of you know what that is but it's like a giant flea market that they have every tuesday and wednesday so after the flea market we were right by amish country if we i think maybe we were in it i don't know but we went to this amish restaurant and I got a burger because I love burgers. I'm literally obsessed, like they're my favorite food ever and I get a burger like whenever I can. And it's just also fun because like some places have good ones, some places have less good ones, I don't know. Um, what's funny is my favorite burgers ever are from the Outer Banks. I don't know why, I just love them. It's probably a mix of like the beach life and burgers, like they're just, mm good burgers. So they had a burger on the menu. I was like, heck yeah, I'm getting a burger. I got it. It came out. Um, my relatives were kind of saying that it looked too cooked and stuff like that, but I thought it was fine. And when I ate it, it tasted fine. So I was like, you know, whatever. I think it's fine. It doesn't taste any different. And I don't know. I just thought it was fine. So I ate it. And then after I felt kind of bad, but I just thought that maybe it had something to do with the fact that like I've been in quarantine so long that like I'm not used to the way a restaurant burger feels in my stomach. So that's what I just thought it was like after a while I'll feel better, you know, whatever. But actually after a while I started to feel worse and worse. I started to get a headache, but then it was really hot. So I was like, oh, maybe it's just because I was hot. I don't know. But the point is, I went to bed really early that night, like eight or nine, because I just was feeling so bad. And usually when I feel that bad, if I sleep it off, you know, I'm usually fine the next day. So I decided to go to bed. Well, the pain kept me up so much until eventually I did fall asleep. And then around 1 a.m., I got up feeling super, super bad. I ran to the bathroom. I thought I was gonna throw up and I did. I only threw up a teeny tiny bit though and then I was like all right clearly I'm not gonna throw up so I'm gonna go back to bed so I went back to bed fell asleep 2 a.m. comes and I get up again this time I know I'm gonna throw up and I run to the bathroom and I throw up and it's terrible and like honestly I was throwing up so much so bad that I could barely breathe and then I got really scared that I was gonna have to go to the hospital because I was throwing up so bad. So then that made me panic. And then I started throwing up even more because I was panicking. And then I told myself to stop panicking because it was clearly making things worse. And then I somehow stopped panicking and like finished throwing up and there was clearly nothing more in my stomach to throw up. And actually after I felt so much better probably because the bad burger was no longer in my system. 
So, I mean, that's literally the point of throwing up is there's something bad in you and your body rejects it. And then once it's gone, it's gone and you feel better, right? So that's literally the point. So I felt better after. So I just went right back to sleep. And what's kind of funny is my mother did get up. Like she heard me, she got up. And I didn't even know that I did this probably because I was so panicked. But she said the reason she knew something was wrong is because she heard the door slam. And like she knows I wouldn't do that on purpose because I know she's sleeping. So she knew something was wrong because I just like slammed the door. Like I don't even know why that was a priority to me to close the door, but like whatever, apparently it was in my panic. So yeah, she got up, make sure I was all right, helped me with stuff, you know, like whatever. So I went back to bed and she like cleaned up a little bit. So I went back to sleep thinking, okay, it's over. I'm gonna feel better. And I did feel better, but the next morning, I still felt better, but I was very scared to eat anything. And even if I wasn't scared, my stomach was not accepting anything. Not that I would throw it up, but like, it was just telling me like, be very careful what you eat. So I ended up not eating breakfast or lunch. We went home that day. Um, it wasn't until dinner that I was like willing to put something in me. And even then, I was very, very picky and specific about what I wanted because, okay, it was so weird. I felt like I could have French toast sticks, but not waffles, which are like sort of the same thing. But like, it was like my stomach would not accept waffles. It would like be mad at me, maybe because of butter. Like, I really don't know why, but I figured out that I really wanted oatmeal and that oatmeal would probably be a good thing to like stay down. So I tried some oatmeal, it was all good, I went to bed and I figured the next morning I would be fine because I had my throwing up, I had my fragile stomach, the next day I should be good, right? So the next day I had me some waffles. Well, it didn't go very well, I didn't throw up. I didn't throw up the rest of the time, only the one time did I throw up but it just was not sitting well and I had to go take like a four hour nap to try and just get my body to not be so mad at me. So I take my four hour nap, I get up, I'm fine, but I realize that I'm hungry, of course, and I realize that there are only very specific foods I can have right now and none of them are meat. I could not have any meat. So I basically essentially became a vegetarian for about three days and maybe more like five actually because um, my stomach was so fragile. By the way, I am all good now. Actually, two days ago, I had my first burger since all of this happened and I was kind of scared to eat it, but then I did eat it and it ended up fine. So I really think it was just a bad burger at that one place at that one day and my stomach is all good to go now. I can eat anything I want. It just took like five days for it to stop rejecting everything. So that is my story. I hope it didn't gross you out, but that is why I was gone. It's kind of like a life lesson that I've already learned a hundred times, but here I am learning it again, I guess. The life lesson is to get ahead on my video making schedule so that just in case an emergency happens, I can have videos planned in the future. And I actually did have that but then I was so sick for so long and I was like door dashing and working and all that kind of stuff. Um, and I was at the camper for a week so I couldn't do any video making. My laptop processor cannot handle my editing software. So even while camping, like I couldn't make any videos. So that's really sad. So I actually was two weeks ahead and then all the stuff happened and I got two weeks behind. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you weren't too grossed out by my story. And yeah, that's it. So um, I have super exciting things in the works. So stay tuned for those. And ooh, I have a Twitter now. So the link will be in the description. You should definitely like follow and comment on my stuff and like it and retweet it and all that fun stuff. Um, yeah, I tweet on there like a lot slash sometimes. I need to like get back on it. I haven't tweeted in a while because like I said, sick and 
other stuff. So I haven't been active, but I'm back and I'm super happy to be back. And I filmed so, so much yesterday. So it was like a kickstart of like, yay, I'm all better. Let's get back into things. I've said that's it way too much, but it is it. So thanks for watching. Have a great day. Like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Um, bye.